Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today you are gonna be trying the Mandrake 8.0 Linux. And you know guys, this is essentially my first Linux that I ever used in my life. All right, so this is the installation part. All right, so United States is selected here. It's fine, but what about advanced? So you can choose other languages to be available after install. All right, so that's interesting, cool, sounds good. Now I'm fine with that. Introduction, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, by the way, I really like this 90s kind of install. It feels like like again just something from like Windows 95 98 era all right so here's the help I guess oh yeah there's a help center cool yeah and by the way I always like those colorful buttons at the bottom <laughs> I don't really want to click those yet because I'm not sure what those do, but <laughs> anyway, let's proceed. Accept. Please choose one of the following classes of installation. Recommended. Install. Please choose the type of the mouse. Standard. You can now test your mouse. Okay. Use free space, custom disk partition. Oh yeah, I mean, I love this option. Proceed with this one. All right. So, and actually it asks what's, what kind of package group we would like to pick. So for us, it's going to be the office workstation. Oh yeah, it also includes all the applications that we need. It. this is cool so let's select this one ah you can select multiple options okay that's cool console tools graphical environment i i love this the fact that actually we can select the environments right from here which is great other graphical so let's select everything basically documentation i mean i love this this is cool game station yeah of course select all the games multimedia select everything let's go ahead all right, so the installation has started. Now we can press the button details. I mean, it doesn't look that much dated, right? I mean, it feels fresh and it also is like really, really fast, like 30 seconds time remaining. I mean, my gosh, the installation just takes nothing. And it also says, please be patient for sure. I mean, you need to be patient for 20 seconds. Post install stuff, okay. Oh, there's option for no passwords as well, but no, let's pick this one. So real name, it's gonna be an American username icon. Oh, which icon can you pick? Wow, cool many icons are available advanced shell you can pick the shell that's nice i mean i like this interface actually wait there are two options accept user and done how those are different accept user what done choose a default user nomadic welcome to network configuration wizard use of detection yeah yeah let's pick just LAN connection automatic i guess host name how about this one summary yeah, that sounds good to me this one your hardware clock yes prepare and bootloader cool all right so it's installing something Remember guys, back in those times there were no LCD monitors yet, or those were just getting started, so that's why we need to pick the monitor. I mean, so many monitors here, let's just pick this one for example. Congratulations, installation is complete, remove the boot media and press return to reboot. Alright, welcome to Linux Mandrake. Seems like we're loading. Welcome to Linux. Cool. I love the cursor right here. This is nice. Oh my gosh, so many memories here. It takes a while to load, even on this system. I'm not sure how much memory actually it was located to this one. I think it was 256 megs and it's uh, kernel version 2.4. And the version 2.4 should not consume much memory, I guess. Aurora version blah 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 blah. Should I pick anything here? I mean, what is that? It doesn't seem to be loading anything. Go ahead. Oh. Oh, okay finally it started that's cool i remember this screen <laughs> for sure session type oh yes i can pick any of those sessions right now how about kde is kind of standard let's just try gnome because back in those days gnome actually felt like more powerful to me we press go could not look up internet address uh, let's just continue with this all right gnome welcome to nautilus gnome hints next 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 yeah lots of fun here and you know guys actually this this like a uh, window theme reminds me of something like windows whistler you know before windows xp there was a project they were trying to come up with the interface so which actually became windows xp at the end but this kind of window uh that's what i saw back in the uh, windows whistler welcome to nautilus yeah great file manager for no provides a simple intuitive way next okay choose your user level uh, intermediate sounds fine to me enable fast search oh the fast search and indexing was already a thing back then this is great next uh, verify my connection let's check for updates uh, probably there's no connection finished here it is guys the file manager about Nautilus and it says 2001 yes it's exactly at the time I remember using this one cool there's a notes I can add some notes here testing how it works this is fun <laughs> tree okay we can also explore this like this and user manual 
it loads the user manual right here right exactly in the file manager I'm not a fan of that but that's okay software manager okay how about this yeah it looks like there is no connection but it is fine this is how we see the installed packages internet what browser is gonna launch come on does it load anything it doesn't seem to be loading anything when I click on the internet what about this Mandrake campus okay so it just opens the folder Nautilus folder okay GIMP oh there is a GIMP pre-installed I guess let's open this one does it load anything here oh Nautilus cannot display how about we just launch Netscape will it actually work I mean this is strange if there is no internet connection it doesn't even open the browser which doesn't sound like a good idea I mean it should still open this all right so how about applications and communications we have what all right so Nautilus GNOME search file manager super user mode okay you can just launch super user mode from this shortcut okay doesn't even launch it okay all right let's see all right so we finally opened the browser here <laughs> yeah so this is I think the browser that that I used back in the day and I actually liked it but compared to Internet Explorer I, I mean correct me if I'm wrong guys but compared to Internet Explorer this one felt still unpolished all those browsers back from this era would like had this crazy idea of just opening your file system right from there I mean this is nah, prefer like browser is one thing and file manager is the a different thing it never should mix together mandrake expert how about this again it just opens the file manager because again it just tries to open this url this one is probably a terminal i remember this terminal yeah so the kernel version 2.4.3 all right let's see that's what we have here typical terminal stuff so much memories how about this what is this one nautilus all right so multimedia what do we have here we have icon viewer paint what is the paint key paint cannot open but why is it opening oh, guys i mean linux from that era was kind of glitchy in my opinion it was not really polished it was just mainly like starting out for the desktop users in my opinion back then okay uh, session graphics and games empty but I selected games during the installation why I didn't install those calculator yes so we have just a simple x11 terminal right here nothing fancy here let's try something else how about how about this k office workspace ah okay and here's just like the main application we can press keyboard a4 all right yeah just typical word application just a typical word application from that era and just notice this you can collapse the window like that this works fine cool so actually it works so what else do we have so we have chat file transfer IRC instant messaging I don't really know all those mail apps Kmail oh it's from a KDE kind of mail manager Mozilla all right so we finally loaded Mozilla <laughs> okay I just keep forgetting that double click just closing it so what version of Mozilla is here the Mozilla version is 0 0.8 which is super super old yeah I mean browsers from that era will like Internet Explorer was not that bad back then I mean uh, it was still like everybody would say Internet Explorer is bad is bad but everyone was uh, using this one anyway that's what I felt boot and init GDM configuration okay okay and what is that so it's a display manager configuration cool and we can just customize all the stuff here face browser browse yeah all the typical stuff I mean it doesn't look that bad it feels like it was like prepared in a rush I don't know just sorry guys but Windows like 2000 from that era or something was I felt like this was still like more polished than this thing it was fancy like everybody was saying like yeah Linux is cool is cool Linux is great but people were still using the Windows a lot all right log out yes and how about I try some different session how about I pick a KD this time so login is gonna be nomadic let's see if it works continue wait but why why did it load it no once again I don't get it because I picked KD clearly picked KD here how about this one does it open anything else except no come on load something I think it just got stuck is it even loading anything I don't know come on 